this morning with the French speakers, and the only words I got were waffle syrup um, out of the entire conversation. So uh, Sonia's going to talk to us today about post stacks and co op. Hello. Uh, I've been working at the Lyon Free University and Encore for uh, seven years now. I'm in charge of the documentary application service. And uh, I'm also the president of the French co user um, group since 2015. I try to be involved in the COA community as much as I can by testing patches. I think uh, Catherine will show you how to do that later this morning. This morning. Uh, translating COA into French and uh, being part of the discussion. Um, my university, Lyon Free, is one of the three universities in Lyon, in France. There are 28,000 students. We were the first university library to go live with COA in France in 2010. We have three lib main libraries and uh, 20 associated libraries, around uh, 25 branches in COA. And we have 70 people in the staff. There are 20, 116,000 titles with 360,000 items uh, and 370 active journal subscription. The library offers 1,500 seats. And last year, there were 1,023,000 visits per year and 200,000 loans. That's all for numbers. Uh, some of you may be wondering why I offer a communication on such an exciting subject. Yes, I know close stacks are really what make every librarian love his jobs. Uh, seriously, it's an uh, increasing, increasing need in my library, and the head of my library is quite enthusiastic about this topic. No kidding. Uh, but it's also, also uh, because it's a new trend uh, in academic libraries. Uh, while during the 20th century, one of the major changes was to extend the free access, direct access to the library collections. It is no longer what the academic libraries were striving for, striving for. the environment and the trends of of academic libraries are changing, at least in France in, and in other European countries. Concerning the managing collection, um, they are facing two main events. Firstly, the, uh, the merger of academic libraries are more and more common, and after merging, you could have a collection you don't want to pulp, but not enough place in your reading room to store them, so they will end up in closed stacks. And secondly, collections have more and more electronic resources, and the importance of physical collections for libraries is slowly decreasing. Access to ebook can be done remotely um, from the user home. So giving direct access to physical documents becomes less a priority. And the user's behaviors are changing too. Uh, the numbers of borrowed books decline and the users do not come to the library only for the collections. Library is also a social space where they could find a lot of other services. 
several academic library transform into learning center to create spaces for dynamic and interactive learning. And the students use the library materials, but not only. Libraries try to have new areas to offer different usage, and the collections are becoming less central. There is a sort of spatial crisis due to the difficulty to find space to make all the service coexist. So parts of collection are being relocated from reading rooms in direct access, from closed tags or off-site storage in indirect access. Uh, with my colleagues uh, this year, we visited Università Bocconi in Milano, Italy, and uh, they told us that they have more collection in the off-site storage after several libraries emerged. Here you can see a room at the University of Amsterdam Library, especially de de dedicated to pick up materials, not only from uh, closed bags but you can see it's for pick up and leave to the bright, uh, to the bright red color of this room. And I have discussed with Andreas from the <laughs> Stockholm University Library, uh, who will explain the Alcora project to you tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's like, okay. And uh, they have worked on a specific system for document delivery. That's right. Yes, <laughs> okay. Um, so you surely already knew all that, but these elements could explain why my academic libraries need retrieval and delivery systems that are more efficient. So what happens in my library? Since 2011, loans have decreased by about 25% and entries uh, I grew up but yeah, about 10%. For the past three years, we have had more than 1 million visits per year with several weeks where the library was completely full. So we can presume that we have reached the limits of the library. Uh, students have a, an increasing need to work together and uh, during the busiest period of our uh, of the library, our work group rooms are always booked. And there are uh, several events to, that took place in the past, uh, last few years that led us to put more collections in closed tags. We have to move one of our library in a smaller place due to a construction work. There are ongoing renovation in, uh, in Overrun, and Overrun. And we want to dedicate one reading room to tablets, computer, and we are going to remove some shelves to save place. We now have one third of our physical items, uh, excluding journals, that are in a closed tax. Here you can see a form that students had to fill in until last July to have a document from the school's tax. Our students are always on their computer or on their mobile, so when we were asked them to fill that, they were gently mocking us. <laughs> so, um, in my... Uh, Department, we, we were asked to use COA to make an online request possible for our students. We don't have the latest version of COA. We are always one or two years late. So perhaps we don't, have, we, we have missed some uh, functionalities that would have made, made it easier, but we encountered several difficulties. Uh, first of all, books and thesis. For us, it seems logical to use the results module of COA to handle it. But the main question was that we had different rules and different workflows to deal with the reservation, the build, 
and the provision of book from, from closed tags. Users can only reset um, books only already in loan, and it can be asked, asked in one of our free ed libraries. But for the provision of closed text books, it's possible only for available books and only in uh, the owner library. There's no transfer. So we have to make these differences clear for the user and to distinguish how to deal with the, these two cases for the staff. In fact, we have to manage two different workflows. We have no problem uh, for adding a new eye type, eye type for books in, clo uh, in closed tags and to change the circulation rules uh, in core according to our needs. But we want the user to be aware that they will ask for a book in a closed tag that will be available for them within an hour. And it's not the case for the classic holds that are only possible uh, on books on loan. Uh, so we change the button. I don't know if you can see it really clear, clearly. Here we have changed the button in a demand magazine, which means request for closed tax when there's an available item in closed tax. Here it's in a closed tax magazine for us and uh, it's available. So we can add this button. It's easy when there's only one item, but when there are several, one in uh, closed tags and one in the reading room, uh, we have to determine if uh, we should change the button or display the ball. If there's one in item in closed tags available and one in reading room already in, in the unknown. And we failed with the logic test a few times before finding, finding the good combination. So when you, the user choose to make a hold, he can choose in which library he wants to pick up the book and he will uh, be notified as soon as uh, it will be returned. But for a book in closed tax, he can only choose an item in closed tax. So we have to modify the result, the result page in the back to mask information regarding the case. Yeah, you can see they only can choose, they can choose, uh, they only can choose the item, they can choose the library where they are, so they are going to pick up the, the book. And they only can choose an item that with the eye type demand magazine. Uh, for the staff, we don't want them to mix old and closed tax requests, so we try to make it simple. But we have created two set reports for each library that have the closed tax, and um, you, we have add it on the circulation page. Uh, you can see it. Yeah, it's in French, oh, sorry. Um, uh, so there's a one uh, set report to see awaiting demands and uh, one to see uh, cancelled one. On the report, uh, you can see uh, books that you have to, um, to, go, uh, to go search in the close tags. And the, there's a link that, um, that appeal a specific uh, script. Um, it, this script checking the book, prints a notification and returns to the page of the saved report. And if we have to cancel uh, the demand because we can't find the book, uh, it creates, we, we have created a new notification so uh, we have to, uh, to set the reason here and uh, if we cancel, uh, it will notify the user. 
for all this specification, we have to use uh, the preference systems, internet user GS, opac user GS. We also change our CSS and the XSLT cheats. But we have also to modify COA to change the file xslt.pm and we add a local script. Uh, it has been in use since July and users find it really easily without uh, any communication from us. Um, and we have trained uh, the staff uh, during the weeks before the new students uh, arrival two weeks ago. That's it for the books and the theses, but now for journals. We have a 360 meter linear of cells in closed stacks. I can't really say how much it represents. And for the majority, we have no item in core. So it's really difficult. Uh, we try to use the whole module to under this, uh, the, the demand of these materials, but it meant too many modifications in the core of COA. So we tried to use a new module dealing with uh, article request, and we have to modify it because we, want, uh, we wanted it to be used for the entire serial. We have renamed uh, the link we uh, can request article in the Monday Anime War magazine uh, asking uh, a serial, uh, uh, nice serial item in closed tax. And we move it in the subscription tab uh, to be uh, sure that it will be only for the collection that have uh, serial in closed tax. On the form, we have hidden, um, we have hidden not relevant information concerning article. Uh, we've got the call number back from the subscription tab. If you look here, we take the call number here and we put it in the, in fact, it's in the note of uh, field. Uh, and we blocked uh, the pickup library on the library which owns this uh, collection. Uh, on the intranet, uh, on the article request uh, management page, we have it's a complete request. In fact, here you have the uh, ongoing demand and uh, I, I don't remember in English, sorry. Uh, Yes, cancel, but here you have another step that we have uh, it because uh, we want it to be done uh, when you uh, brought the, the, the item to the, the user. So we hit it uh, on this page. Uh, the fact the fact that we have no item in COA for these journals makes it more difficult. So in the circulation page on the yeah, it's a request article tab, we have a, a, a table and we have add a, a link to create create a, an item because they, they don't exist. Uh, and then we have here the the link to complete the demand the, to make the, the article request complete. Uh, and we we uh, we don't we have to do that just before to borrow it to the user. Uh, for this modification, we also use the preference system uh, internet user GS, um, uh, opaque user GS, and we have to change our CSS and XSLG cheats. Uh, but we also have to modify uh, COA to change the file uh, opacdetail.tt and patron article risk requests.inc. 
Um, this system isn't live yet. Uh, we have to test it a little bit more, but we hope that it will be possible before the end of the year. So we achieve what seems to us a better way to offer simple, simple online services to our users. But we are not thinking this is optimal. I'm not in favor of too much local changes in Koa because it just makes the new version updates a nightmare. So <laughs> we have to check if our local changes are compatible with the new versions and the text are much longer. So uh, I always bother my colleague that develop in my library to have as less as local commit as possible. Uh, but we use a lot of the jQuery system preference for local change. So we try to, to not modify too much things, but we are not really happy with what we have done. <laughs> but it seems it works for the, the books on the same pages. Um, in fact, I would prefer it if we could make a, a better COA. <laughs> which could answer every uh, library's need. I, I, I know it's not possible. <laughs> I think uh, we could certainly enhance COA so it could handle close tax communication in a better way. So perhaps we could try to have a system that allows to define specific workflows uh, according to different needs. I don't really know, but uh, if it's possible, I believe it's worth uh, thinking about it. So how could we do? Uh, I think we have to discuss about it. So launch a discussion on the coalice. Perhaps uh, we can create a request for comments on the wiki page. Uh, we surely uh, have, uh, the, have to uh, look and ask for fundings. And uh, if you have any ideas, uh, you can add it to my list. <laughs> uh, whatever. I, I have done my first step, uh, share with you my thought about this. And if you are interested by this topic, feel free to contact me. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.